So hello everybody and welcome to the class. Today we are going to have vocabulary and we are going to have a new story which is the ancient Greece in the uh, reading book. Okay, before we start, who can tell me why we study the vocabulary each time for each new story? Why we do that? Hmm? Who can remind me? So we can understand the words better. Excellent. So we can understand the meaning of these words. So we can use them in what? In new sentences, in our speaking. Also, huh? when other people communicate with these words, we will what? Huh? We will understand it or not understand it? No, we will understand it. Yes, uh, so it will be easier it. for us in and the communication, in the writing, yeah. in the speaking, <laughs> to know new vocabulary. It will add for our language and then the language would become easier for us to communicate. Okay. Uh, and it's right improved now. reading and comprehension. Exactly. So right now I want you to open your books, uh, reading books, on the page 300, 358, and 359 in the reading book. And then after that, we are going to open the page 398 in the notebook. Let's go ahead right now and open the reading book. <clears throat> we'll have introduction about the words that we have. Okay, before we start, you have to know that every time you don't, you have a new word that you are not familiar with, you have to read what? What should I do? Huh? Read this whole sentence. Yeah, read the whole sentence around it. The sentence before it, the, sen the sentence that contained the word to understand the meaning of the whole sentence. When you understand the meaning of the whole sentence, you can figure out the meaning of the word itself. Okay, these are some of the words that we have for today. But before, let's have this small passage to give us like introduction about the lesson of today. So lessons from the past. Human beings have always asked themselves, how should we live? What way of life is best? We can study the past to try to answer these questions. By asking still uh, more questions, what kind of government has been passed, uh, has been best? When have be people been happiest? We can learn from the past. We can try to comprehend what would make, uh, make up the ideal or perfect way of life. Ancient civilizations have sent us messages. Their literature and histories communicate how people lived and felt. Every civilization has its mythology, a body of stories that explain the working of the world and the religion. These tales, filled with the struggles, show us how ancestors believed to be the meaning of life. However, they express little happiness of contentment. The empire was a common type of government in many past civilizations. The strong rule of a single person might lead to astounding, uh, astounding art, art, architecture, and invention. But most subjects were not free to enjoy these bonds. Over, uh, over thousands of years, humans have moved away from government with a single all-powerful ruler toward democracy. We have come to believe that each person should be free and have a voice in how his or her community is governed. So this is a small passage right here. It tells us like small introduction about our lesson of today. As you can see in this picture, this uh, big status, it's only a head of a big status of a man. And this civilization, it's, it's from ancient civilization. And this civilization until now, if you go for some of the countries like Syria, Lebanon, and even Greece and Rome, you will find what the ruins uh, and the remaining of this status to tell you that there was some people lived here before you and there were some civilization here before you. So maybe if you search more to, to have something written about this uh, civilization, you will understand the way of life, how they lived at that time, how they ruled themselves at that time, what type of system they have, what type of life they have, was it a happy life and enjoyable life, and how they governed everything during uh, the time they lived. 
So the more that we learn about them, طيب why we learn all of this? The more we learn about them, the more we can understand some lessons from history. The more we understand that, oh, it, maybe it's not good to have uh, all the power in the hands of one person. Why? Because if we go back through history, we will find some of the civilization was ruined because of what? Because of the ruling of one man. So maybe it's better to have democracy. Maybe it's not a good way to deal with the things in this way. Maybe it's better to deal with it in this way. Why? Because the more we learn from the, from the past, the more we learn lessons and we can apply it to our lives and to, uh, to take the moral of it and to avoid the mistakes that other people had in their previous lives. So this is why we study history. Okay, right now we have these words written in yellow, ideal, mythology, empire, architecture, and democracy. Before we see the meaning of each one of them, let's try to understand the meaning of them by ourselves, shall we? Let's yeah. try the word, for example, ideal. Hmm. Let me see the whole sentence. We can try to comprehend what would make up the ideal or perfect way of life. So maybe what, what is the meaning of ideal here, huh? Who can figure out? Um, Look into the sentence. Uh, hmm. It means any, that it's perfect or like... Excellent. Huh? Yeah. Perfect. Why, why do you say that it's perfect? The meaning of it is perfect. Why? Why do you think that the meaning of ideal is perfect? How did you figure out that? Because they say because we can try. Different. Because what? Perfect. Here it's written perfect. Yes. We said before, sometimes when you have a sentence, and then after that he puts a comma, and he puts or perfect, or the, the, when, we, when he put for you the word or, then the other word that comes afterward, maybe it will be a synonym for the word before it. Uh -huh. So this is a strategy that I can understand the meaning of some words by only having the word or. And if I see, see the word or, it means that maybe the word after that is a synonym for the word that comes before it. So this is how I can link between the meaning. Sometimes I can link between the meaning with the word or. If I have the link or, and sometimes basically the the whole sentence, uh, I will understand the whole sentence, and from the understanding, I will figure out the meaning of this word. If there is no or, yani if I didn't find or tayyibiyamis, then try to understand the whole meaning of the sentence and try to understand what is the meaning of this word. For example, if he put, didn't put for me or, tayyib, and I can read it this way. Now I read the whole thing here. Humans being have always asked themselves, how should we live? What way of life is, is the best? Now the people, they are searching for a good way of living, right? And then we come here to figure out, we can try to comprehend, yani, to understand what would make up the ideal way of life. Hmm, maybe ideal here because he asked all of these questions, how to have the best life, the better life. Then maybe ideal here, it means the best life. So ideal, maybe it means the best, the perfect, the, 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 the ultimate thing and the best one, maybe. So after that, I try to read more and more and more and figure out, open the dictionary and look for the meaning, I will find it the same. This is how you figure out. Okay, ideal means perfect. What about mythology? Huh, let's read the whole sentence. Their literature and histories communicate how people lived and felt. Every civilization has its mythology, a body of stories that explain the working of the world and religion. Hmm. So what does it mean mythology? Mythology, I think, is like when you say technology or something like this. It's, it's what, again? It's a study. <laughs> Some people yeah. study mythology. Mm -hmm. So mythology, maybe it's what... It's the collection or the group of stories or legends that explain how the people lived and how was their religion, how was their government. So mythology, it's the way of living and the collection of the, uh, of the uh, legends and stories and books and 
uh, that tell you how those people lived. This is the meaning of mythology. Like the empire was a common type of government in many ways, uh, in many past civilizations. So what does it mean empire? Hmm. Empire that um, like people who go to um, think, I don't know what it's. Uh, is empire the same of kingdom or bigger or smaller? Uh, for example, the Ottoman Empire, the Umayyad Empire, was it only one country? No. Uh, so the empire, it means what? It means a group of countries that all together ruled by one government. This is the meaning of empire. Empire is the biggest thing, okay? We have country, we have then kingdom, and then we have empire. Empire, it means you don't have only one country, you have several countries together and you collect it all as one empire. This is why we call it empire, imperatoria. okay? So empire, it means it's the biggest thing. You have collection of countries beneath you. The strong rule of a single person might lead to astounding art, architecture, and invention. What does it mean architecture? Who can tell me? Oh my God. Something made of art. Yes, something made of art. Like a sculpture? And it's what? Close to a sculpture, like that? Yeah, yeah, it's like a sculpture, designing, art, any type of art or design, we call it what? We call it architecture. So the first word we have is ideal. Ideal means perfect and the best. And then we have the second word, which is mythology. Mythology, it means the group of legends, stories that tells the story about someone, okay? Or about a civilization, we call it mythology. Okay, and then we have, after that, we have architecture, which means the design, the art. This is architecture, any design, any building of something or have an art in it, for example, like this shape or this shape, these are designing, but in the same time, it has art and has construction. So we call it architecture, handasa. And then we have empire. Empire, it's a group of countries like, like together. A king or queen. Yep, yes. government. Ruled, ruled by what? Ruled by government. one. Yes, like this one. This is, for example, Ottoman Empire. Ottoman Empire, it means all of these countries under, under one government. All of these countries, you see? This is the meaning of empire. And then democracy, what does it mean democracy? Democracy, it means that people, they don't like one person to rule them or to choose from one family. No, they will have the right to vote and to choose. So democracy is the freedom of choice. You are free to choose your uh, ruler. You are free to, uh, free to vote. You are free to say, no, I don't want this person. I want this person. And democracy, it means equality. Like all the people have the right to choose and to say their opinion. You will not pick, for example, the empires, uh, the, the royal families, they have something that's called what? Dict dictatory. Dictatory, it means I will give the ruling of this country for only one family or one group or one leader, okay? This is, we call it dictatory which means that you don't like other people to share. But democracy, it means all the people have the right to share and to be in the government by putting their name and the others will vote for them. They will choose. But if you say that one family, then nobody will choose. Khalif, it's only your family. What about me? Maybe I want to be president. Maybe the other person have the eligibility to, do, uh, to be a president. So why you choose yourself only? So this is why we call it democracy. Democracy means equality. Okay, my girls, let's go right now to open your books on the page. No. You have to pick one of these words from the books and put it with the right definition. Let's go for the first one, yeah, Malak. Okay, Miss. A group of legends or stories about a, a particular, particular, a particular, particular per, a, or person. Um, 
So Miss, group, can you try? A group of legends, stories that tell you the story of oh, an Miss, empire or country, what we call it. Miss, we can say. Miss, um, can you try? Give her the chance, yeah, Ghali. Okay. Hi, Malak. Democracy. No. No, democracy it means the equality between people. I think it's my my uh -huh. mythology. Mythology, mythology. So we have the word mythology. Excellent. Yeah, the yeah, Malak. So mythology. Okay, next one is for Galia. Hi, Galia. Number two. Okay, a group of countries or states under ruler or government empire. Empire, excellent. Number three, Lean. Are you there, Lean? Lean, are you there? Yeah. Okay, number three for you. A style or a special manner of building. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Style of building, design, art, what we call it. Um, um, I know it. Eileen, try, give her a chance. Eileen. Um, uh, mm, it's I am a luck. Architecture. Architecture, excellent. So architecture is the way. <clears throat> the way of what? The style or special manner of building. Uh, okay, let's go for number four, Yaline, again. Huh, number four, try it. Sure, um, uh, just as you wish, uh, as you would wish, perfect. Perfect, very good. So, what we call it? Um, perfect. Something perfect, what we call it? Um, uh, ideal? Yes, excellent, ideal. So, ideal. Number five is what? Government that is run by people who live under it, it is democracy. Okay, let's go for number six, and I start with Watin. Hi, Watin. Choose a word from the box. From the book that this match each crew. I write the word on the line. Ancient Greek was the first example of this political political system. Ancient degrees was the first example of this political system. What is the political mythology. system that we have? It's what? Mythology? No. Mythology is the story. That we have. It comes, mythology, it comes from the word myth. What is myth? It means legends, stories. So mythology, <laughs> stories and legend. Democracy, it means what? It means the style of ruling uh, under the, the, the government that you choose it. So the first one that has clue that they have this political system is ancient Greece, so democracy. Right, number seven, Yawatin, again. Famous. The religion of ancient Greece included example of, of this. So religion that has stories, legends, huh? mythology, mythology, excellent. So mythology. <clears throat> Number eight, Yamalak. Athens. Malak. Miss, your voice is lagging. Number eight, Malak. Yes, Miss. Miss, can you hear me? Yes, go for number eight. Okay, Athens built up this kind of uni union of many territories. Ter territories. Mm. 
Art, architecture, no. architecture. Athens built up this kind of union of many territories. Territories, it means land. And you united these lands to be under one government. What do we call this? Empire. Call it empire, excellent. Number nine, Galia. Okay. Ancient Greece made a large contribution in this field. May archi architecture? Excellent, architecture, very good. And then number 10, Yawatin, the Greek. The Greek, the Greek philosopher Plato outlined this kind of government, this kind of government. The Greek philosopher Plato outlined this kind of government. This is the ideal government. Okay. <clears throat> These are the words that we have for today. So we have architecture, democracy, empire, ideal, and mythology. <clears throat>